Sean Diddy Combs is waking up behind bars in Brooklyn. The disgraced music mogul will stand trial next year on sex trafficking and racketeering charges. Today, his lawyers will once again make a case to try to set him free on bail. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate is live outside of the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with more. Good morning, Phil. Yeah, Pedro, good morning. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs hopes fourth time the charm as he heads back inside of a lower Manhattan courtroom and hopes that he can get out of jail on bail. Well, this says the disgraced star faces a slew of charges that's left him sitting in a Br Brooklyn jail cell. Now, Combs' legal woes are extensive with racketeering, sex trafficking by force and transportation to engage in prostitution in September. Now, Diddy was in court earlier this week when prosecutors had obtained several pages of Combs' handwritten notes from a raid carried out at the Metropolitan Detention Center. Now, a win for Combs, as the judge has already said he would not consider those notes when weighing bail arguments after the defense raised questions about attorney-client privilege. Now, also on today's agenda, the video that shocked the world. Diddy violently assaulting then girlfriend Cassie in 2016, which also became evidence of the danger that the rap mogul had posed to women if released on bail. That's all according to prosecutors. Now, in a new court filing Thursday, Sean Combs' defense attorneys say prosecutors invented that narrative using a quote, an edited and manipulated version of the video, arguing it shows nothing more than a d domestic dispute. What the prosecution is laying out or attempts by Diddy to do things under the radar, to reach out and communicate with witnesses. So this obviously is to great detriment when it comes to his argument for bail. Now, Combs has repeatedly tried for bail, but has been denied. This time, they'll be offering that $50 million package along with home confinement and that bracelet that would be around his ankle, ensuring that he would not be able to leave. Again, we'll have to see what will happen in just hours. Combs is expected to be in court at 2 p.m. We are live in Lower Manhattan.